Hey everyone, welcome back to part six of topic four in our database class. In this video, I'm going to introduce conceptual froze foot relationship symbols that we can use in our entity relationship models. Now, I'm sure as you're all aware, row is a type of bird. And the reason that we call these symbols crow's foot symbols is that uh, this symbol here, which is our symbol for the conceptual notion of many, is kind of look like the foot of a bird. <laughs> and so you can imagine that uh, maybe we have like a, I don't know, it's hard to draw with a mouse, but uh, maybe we have a little, little bird here and here's our little bird. All right. And it's, sorry, I won't be able to draw this very effectively with my mouse, but uh, just for illustrative purposes, and a little, I don't know, maybe we got a little birdie out here. Mm -hmm. Drawing a bird, make our bird happy. There you go. All right. So this is my attempt at uh, drawing a crow. Maybe it has some big feathers <laughs> and a little eye. All right. So uh, don't laugh. <laughs> the idea here is that this looks like that. Okay. And this is where the name crow's foot symbols comes from. Uh, we're going to use these symbols to represent some uh, concepts. And the first broad pair of concepts that we need to consider is just this notion of one versus many. Okay. So in this case, if we're doing these conceptual relationships, we would use these sorts of lines to interconnect tables. And uh, something that looks like this would represent one, something that looks like that would represent many. So uh, the idea is that we're going to have some tables, or some entities, I'll draw them like this. And then we'll have some sort of relationship line that interconnects them. And uh, what we're going to do then is use these various symbols to indicate the nature of the relationship on both sides of that line. So if I were to conceptually draw something like what we see here, this would be a one to one conceptual relationship. So uh, earlier we saw an example of, was that an employee in a parking space, right? Now, so we can imagine that that's a conceptual one to one relationship. Here's an employee, here's a parking space. So in our world. We reserve parking spaces for individual employees. And if we have this described as a one-to-one -one relationship, which is as it is depicted here, what this means then is if we were to read this relationship, we would read it as follows. When reading the relationship in this direction, we would say each employee is assigned to one parking space. Because this end of the line here indicates this concept of one, as we see over here. And if we were to read this relationship in the opposite direction, that is in the direction from parking space to employee, we would say something like each parking space is assigned to one employee. Because this line ending here again is matches what we see conceptually for the notion of one. And so this is a one to one relationship because. It's one in both directions, right? Each end of the line here and uh, here is indicating a notion of one. Now, if we had a different sort of scenario where, uh, let's say, for example, that uh, instead of an employee and a parking space sort of relationship, we instead had a relationship where it was, I don't know, maybe between employees and let's say projects. So let's imagine a world where we're trying to keep track of which employees are working on which projects. And in that case, we might have a relationship that looks like this. So maybe these are small little projects and only one employee works on them. But uh, we want each employee to be able to work on multiple projects at the same time. Now that kind of design is uh, what we're seeing illustrated here. So again, we take a look at this overall relationship and we can read it in both directions. Okay. So if we read this relationship between employee and project in this direction, that is the direction from 
employee to project, we would say each employee is associated with or works on many projects because this notion is many, right? It's our symbol that we use for the concept of many. So conceptually, we would say an employee works on or is associated with many projects. But if we were to read the same relationship line in the opposite direction, that is in the direction from project to employee, we would read it as each project is associated with or has just one employee. Because again, this end of the line here on that side is representing the concept of one. So conceptually, we can then easily understand how we can create a variety of different relationships between our entities. I do want to highlight once again that uh, what we're seeing here are conceptual relationship symbols. And the reason why is, well, one, we're not showing any cardinalities. And uh, two, with these conceptual symbols, we can implement or eat something like a many-to-many -many design, even though it is infeasible to directly implement such a design in a relational database.